Hello everybody and welcome back to Galen Darling Burn in a room. It's really hot. It's hot guys. It's a really hot day and so you're just we're gonna try to ignore the heat that we are experiencing by uh, finding a bomb which will definitely not be hot at all. Bombs are not warm. They're cold, right? Gail, do you want to take that transition again? <laughs> no, we're fine. <laughs> the heat is definitely not addling my brain. Nezumi Castle! I have not had ice cream in so long, and I had so much ice cream today because it's hot and it still was not enough. Yeah... <laughs> The bombs shouldn't be small. If I find them, it should be really obvious by how cold they are when I yeah, touch them. Yeah, they're all gonna have- they're all gonna be big black metal circles that have bomb written on them, and a big cartoon-looking fuse. Yeah, definitely. It's gonna be, say Acme on the back? Yeah, Nagito's a second-hand supplier from, uh, what's his name? Coyote? Oh, no, oh my gosh, what's his name? Wily Coyote! There oh. we go. I was about to say, I thought his name was Coyote. I was like, wait a minute. I was thinking like Coyote Bill or something. Different guy. <laughs> it's fine. Coyote Peterson. <laughs> that that <laughs> might have honestly been it. YouTube's greatest supplier of <laughs> Acme Industry Bombs. Who has spent the entirety of his YouTube career trying and failing to catch a domestic American Roadrunner. Yep. They're fast though. Yeah, but I think that's, you know, it's I, I've heard it's part of the rules of the show. Brave Wilderness cannot actually catch the Roadrunner. I was they... surprised when they keep getting the family-friendly, like, kid-friendly rating, even when it pulls out, like, giant mallets and falls off of cliffs. Yeah, yeah, I'm really surprised, too, but YouTube's letting a lot slide these days. Yeah. Dang it! Looks like there's nothing in here. Well, good thing I came to check. So, we need to check out the roller coaster, maybe the fun house? Dang it! I don't see the friggin' bombs anywhere! Okay, so he can say the D word, but he can't say the F word. He has to start with friggin'. He's starting to sound like me. <laughs> 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 Nothing good will come from rushing. I should try looking somewhere else! So, Roller Coaster and Funhouse are both places that we've all been. We go in the roller coaster, it's just another image, but this time it's just us enjoying the roller coaster. Hey, I need a ride again to look for the bombs. I don't think I I, I was looking that hard. Wee! Again! I'm still looking for bombs. Wee! And again! Um... We might honestly have to ride. No, okay. It's no use. So we're There's going nothing. back to the fun house? There's nothing suspicious here either. Any, uh, Monokumas? Can you strafe? I cannot strafe. Okay. No. I have- my legs have no movement. I am attached to this one spot. Ah! That was a legitimate jump scare. I was not ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> I just- I was expecting it to be Gail? like, Gosh darn it, I have to keep going! And then I just saw Fuyuhiko's face just freaking- <sighs> Calm down there, Gail. It's- it's- Hajime. Ha- <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. I found them. Good job, Fuyuhiko. You found them? Yeah, a shit ton of bombs are piled on top of each other. God damn, I didn't expect to find actual bombs. <laughs> what did you think they were gonna be? Friendship? <laughs> <laughs> These... The real threat was the friendships we made along the way. <laughs> he just like put he just gets like Lincoln logs That's... and then paints them with like the names of like their dead friends and like stacks them together. No, that's, that's that's the bomb. When we make our album, that's our first album name. The real threats were the friendships we made along the way. That's a long album name. So, it'll be like a uh Fallout Boys album name. Uh, I see. What where would you find them? Near that stupid factory, the life-size Monokuma plushies are made. That's not right. We can't guarantee everyone's been there. Was that the clue for today? No, the, the clue was, like, you've been there-ish. I don't know, like... The, the first day's clue was none of you have been there. 
thought the second day's clue was all of you have been there. But we don't know. We can't not guarantee that everybody hasn't been there once. Like, we all were I, running around the island just because we didn't I see them. I think this is a trap, but Why would we'll Fuyuhiko see. trap us? Not Fuyuhiko. Nagito. Oh, like you put fake bombs out there? Yeah. Honestly, with this game, I don't know what's real and what's fake anyway. <laughs> Everything is There's questioned. a tank next to a plushie factory, next to a Terminator factory. It's just all higgly piggly. The plushie factory, got it! I'll go tell Kazuichi and Akane. Can you tell Sonya and Chiaki? Sure I can. Can you remind me where they are? I totally no. forgot. I don't know which islands. It's been a minute. It's very hot. <laughs> yeah, got it! We'll meet in front of the bombs later. Isn't that the worst place to be? I mean, I guess if we're gonna disarm the bombs, but like, also, don't we want to be away from the bombs? We do have the ultimate mechanic. Is this how Soda dies? No, is Trying this how Soda gains affection? <laughs> Soda just tries to heroically disarm the bombs and he fails and he blows up and we all go, eh, it was okay. <laughs> Close enough. Meet in front of the bombs? But what's going to happen after that? Will we be able to stop them? No, there's no point in thinking about that right now. I need to tell Sonia Chiaki about the bombs first. The key to this is friendship. The password for the bombs is Nagito's birthday. <laughs> Does anyone know Nagito's birthday? <laughs> Hint, it's already passed. We were all there for it, but nobody said anything. I think I think it's happened since we started recording this. Go over Twitter. Yes, having a thing for we it. did celebrate Nakito's birthday on Twitter. Or I at mean, least I did. Yeah, I... You did not. I don't celebrate Nagito. <laughs> Sonya should be at the central island and Chiaki should be at the third island. I also don't get celebrating fictional birthdays. Like, I just... It's, a, it's not a thing for me, but... I don't know, I find it fun. I celebrate Mewtwo's birthday every year. I, I like sharing, like... I used to do, like... Oh, hey, you share this birthday with these celebrities and historic figures. But it would never be like, Oh, you share a birthday with Woody from Toy Story. Sonya should be here on the central island. But the only place on the island where bombs could probably be hidden is Jabberwock Park. If that's the case, maybe Sonya is searching there? And maybe she's realizing that she shares a birthday with Jesse. Which Jesse? I don't know. Uncle Jesse from <laughs> Full House. Ah! The most random of Jesse's she's probably never heard of. Yeah, it's not It's not a Korean drama, yeah, so she hasn't seen it. Yeah, it's not a Japanese drama. I would love to see, like, American sitcoms remade with, like, just the, the wackiness of some K-dramas and J-dramas. I do love when animators go all out and animate, like, openings for cartoons, but as an anime opening, like the Spongebob one. Oh, yeah. Or it, the Jaden Animations anime it, OP. Yeah, that's always a lot of fun, because you just, you feel the energy, and you're like, yeah, this has energy, this has anime energy. Yeah, Japan just got that part right, and America <laughs> never did. Huh, that's weird, I don't see her anywhere. Hey, Sonia! Are you by this ominous bomb-looking thing in the center? Uh, who do we think it is? We think that's Sonia, right? I'm right here! I thought it was gonna be him. Just kidding, it's only me! I feel betrayed. Hajime used call Sonia, but nothing happened. Just flashbacks to Undertale Genocide Route, <laughs> but nobody came. <laughs> <laughs> because she's already gone to a faraway place. She found the tunnel that leads out of here? Great! Are we taking a tunnel? A tunnel? A tunnel. A tunnel. What's a tunnel? Uh, underground tunnel. Or underwater tunnel. The channel tunnel between England and France. Oh, the channel. I would like to take a channel. Yeah. Okay, Thomas Astruck, when we come to fight you, we're coming by channel. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, guys, making it clear, we're not coming to fight Thomas Astruck. 
we would only come fight Thomas Astruck if there was a legal agreement and contract and we got a big boxing gig. I'm not saying I would fight Thomas Astruck. I'm not saying I want to fight Thomas Astruck. I'm saying if we are in Paris and Thomas Astruck bumps into me and spills his coffee on my shirt, that had a potential to hurt me. That coffee is hot. <laughs> that could have burned my skin. No! I will fight him for no. that. No! And if I just happen to say, wait, are you Thomas Astra, creator and yeah, constant creator of all everything wrong with Miraculous Ladybug? And he's like, yeah, do you want an autograph? And I'm like, no, I'll give you one with my fist. No. That sounds like a line someone in that show would say, no. which means he deserves it. No. <laughs> we are not threatening somebody on this channel. I'm not threatening. Yes, you are. Stop Okay, it. okay. What if I, what if I put on a dark spandex outfit and act like I've been akumatized? Stop it. All right, all of that was in jest. Sorry, Thomas, we're not going to go fight you in the streets of Paris. I'm not sorry, but I'm respecting your legal privilege to not feel threatened, so. <laughs> Just kidding. If you're looking for Sonia, she was walking around near the military base. The military base? The one on the final island? Did you already hear about the bombs? Is that why she went to final island? No, but she knows about the goat strap. The goat strat? The tank meta. The tank meta? It's an Overwatch reference. She's going for the tank. Even so, there's no reason for her to be at the military base. Because the bombs were found at the plushy factory. I don't really understand. I guess maybe she just really likes tanks. Maybe I don't she blame really her. She went to the base on her own without knowing anything about the bombs. Chucky should be at the third island. Alright, let's go! That definitely doesn't make Sonia seem suspicious. Like she's going to be someone who murders someone. She couldn't. Oh. She could. She totally could. I definitely sense uh, death on her person, you know? Near the music venue is that. It is! It's Chiaki! Go to the Titty Typhoon. To the Titty Typhoon. To the Titty Typhoon. To the Titty Typhoon. Titty Typhoon, Titty Titty Typhoon. Can that be our first song? Yes, that's the first song on the album. Do you remember the album's name? The Real Threats Were the Friendships We Made Along the Way? Or yeah. Something like that? <laughs> oh, hello! That's what I'll sign on t shirts. Chiaki, I've been looking for you. Ah. 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 What happened? Don't respond so slowly! It's the bombs! We found the bombs! Your life is in danger! Have some sense of urgency! Hurry over to the plushie factory! Hey, are you listening? There's no time to space out! Uh, you're right. The bombs are bad, right? We gotta go to the plushie factory. I think something happened to everyone. I think a memory thing happened to them. A memory thing happened. That's why Chiaki's spacing out and Sonya's spacing out. We really were in the Matrix. And somebody messed with the Matrix. And did they're someone, all screwed did up. Did someone now. reset the config files? Yeah. Did someone update the game mid playthrough? I'll head over. And totally don't. 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 I totally don't. Ignore the. Gale's broken. Ignore the programming. And my. My. My vocal. Programming. Okay, um, <laughs> I'm assuming that was a joke, <laughs> because if not... At least be a little more nervous, and also make a little more sense with your words, but I'll ignore it because you told me to. Even in a situation like this, she moves at a snail's pace. Alright, I should hurry over to the final island and meet up with Sonya at the military base and totally not get blown up by a tank or anything, because she wouldn't do that. She wouldn't shoot but me But look with at tank. those lanky Jack Skellington legs. Look at look at his ability to dodge. Dude, he'd be a world-class cr track and field hold person. Hold up, hold up. This universe is broken in terms of military equipment. Everyone except us can just turn sideways and we can't hit them. Ah, uh, you, you're right. We only exist in two dimensions. It makes it a lot harder to wage war. We're the only ones who get to see a side profile. No. We saw... Didn't we see Nagito? When we briefly got to play as Nagito? Mm, did we? Did we see his walking animation? I don't know. I feel like we saw somebody else's walking animation briefly. And we 
we were freaked out because we were like, look Wrong at spot. Hajime's. Oh, did it automatically take us to the plushie factory? No, that's not the plushie factory. That's just the entrance. I, I get know. that it all looks the same. No, like, I'm saying it's uh, it's telling us before I go to the plushie factory, which makes me think we're in the plushie factory. No, he's just telling us where to go in case okay. we forgot. Before I go to the plushie factory, I need to meet up with Sonya at the military base first. The military base is over here, I think. I think it doesn't matter because it's a circle. Almost level 50. Yeah, military base. Oh no! The helicopter is 2D as well! Something about the pet. Oh, it's a cocoon. You should clean up. Should I? Yes. Fine. You have... You make me sad. Because I don't love that which took my love away? That did not take your love away. That replaced it. I don't your do first, replacements. Your first love went of its own volition. The things I love aren't allowed to leave. You know I that recognize, better than everyone. I recognize. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize that you are in denial and that you are projecting your anger at Snake Emmy toward... What's her name? Umami or something? <laughs> See, you don't even know her name. <laughs> no one cares about her. It's anyway, like 90 degrees up here. Sonia's here. <laughs> it's very hot. Sonia, there she is! What is she doing in a place like this? That I already knew she was here. And, like, we've been talking about her being yeah, here. Yeah, but we don't know what she's doing. Yeah, but, like... Now is, is it really the time to talk about? Did something something stick out to you? Like the fact there's a military base? Russell, Russell. Looks like Sonya's digging around the back of that truck. She pulls out a gun. It's a sniper rifle. She might be looking for a bomb defusal manual. This was def this would definitely be where it is. Hey, what are you doing? Ah! That's totally not her scream. That was Gail making that noise, <laughs> not me. I know my cute ah! noises drive all of you wild. <laughs> Ah! Huh, Hajime, please do not startle Especially me! Especially when you're going through an arms bucket. Phew, I thought my heart was going to explode. Much like the bombs that are threatening our lives right now. Explode! A anyway, what are you doing here? Weren't you searching the central island? I was, but there was something I needed to confirm here. Because also the central island was like literally one space, and so it took me very little time to examine that one space. So yep. I got bored very and easily. And we know there's a giant bomb there. Yeah, we already knew there was a giant bomb there, so it wasn't really much of a surprise. Never mind that for now, we found them! What did you find? The bombs! Why has everybody forgotten about the bombs that are threatening our life? It's the bombs! It's the bombs. They found the bombs at the plushie factory. Huh? The bombs are at the factory? Let's hurry over to the plushie factory. The others should already be there, too. Hey, what are you stalling for? If we don't hurry, it'll be too late and we'll explode because of the bombs. You know, the bombs that are threatening our lives. You are right. I understand. I shall make my way there shortly, so please go on without me. Uh, why are you being suspicious, Sonya? Though being suspicious at this point in time probably means you aren't the murderer, but you might be the murdered. Sonya, get your gun. It's going to be fine. I will catch up with you soon. I really hope. I really, in my heart of hearts, in the depths of my soul, hope that Nagito's going to be spouting some nonsense and suddenly we see Sonya behind him with an RPG, and then no more Nagito. <laughs> <laughs> I am done with all of this madness, friendship, hope, despair crap. I am blowing it all up in the name of Novasatic. You know what's stronger than friendship and a small child's wish? An Apache attack helicopter. It has both machine guns and missiles. <laughs> got it. Then I'll start heaving over. I like, don't know what Sonya wants to do, but there's no time to argue about it. Her outfit says cute and cuddly, but her eyebrows say, give me the nearest AK. <laughs> <laughs> I left Sonya for now and decided to go to the plushie factory first. Bad decision, but you know what? I respect it. To the plushie factory. Honestly, if anyone's going to be armed here, I, I, I'd rather it be Sonya. But why is she even at the military base? I can 
Just ask her later. Surely she won't be dead by then. Anyway, the bombs are the biggest priority. I should hurry over to the plushie factory. Can we go back to the army base? We now pro it's probably not gonna let me go anywhere. That's how this game works. To the plushie factory. I think I see the bombs. Okay, I don't see the bombs. Hey, look! It's the bomb! Hey, yeah, It's hey. you, Finico! You're the bomb! You got that bombshell smile? <laughs> hmm? Where's Sonya? I told her about the bombs, but she wouldn't listen to me. She said she'd catch up with us later. She was eyeing a sniper rifle with some intensity. Yeah, it was very <laughs> freaky. Later? Why? She should know that now isn't the time for that, but... Can I go bring her? No. Yes. I don't want Sonya to kill Kazuichi. I don't want Sonya to kill Kazuichi, but I want Sonya to take Nagito's bullet for Son uh, Soda to take the bullet that Nagito is intending for Sonya. Sure, let's go with that. Do you really think there's time for that, you fucking dumbass? You're right. We need to stop the bombs first. All right, let's go. Hi, guys. Uh, so, uh, there was a little cut briefly because I just realized that the audio hadn't been recording for the video game. So, hopefully I replaced it with something nice. Um, but, uh, yeah. It's fixed now, so... We're back! Guys, it's, it's been a day. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. I can't think. We steeled our nerves and charged into the factory. Car bomb. The first thing I noticed was the roaring engine of a nearby truck. A truck? Why? Ooh. It's just a car with a bunch of bombs. Car-based IEDs. Or VIEDs, I think they're called? Vehicular IEDs? I don't know. Depends on, I think it depends on which agency he's talking and about. And I also him. think we shouldn't say too many words for bombs on this We're show. looking at a bomb that's connected to a yeah. car battery. I'm just saying you two might be like, okay, they've said those kind of words a little too much today. Okay, what's our replacement word for it? Um, Tom's? <laughs> no, we already, we already did Jerry's. Um... They're Roadrunners. They're the Roadrunners we've been searching for this whole time. There's a truck parked in the middle of the factory. A lot of dangerous looking <laughs> objects are loaded on the bed of the truck. Almost like a couple of Roadrunners, but I wouldn't want to say that. I'm just imagining a giant mushroom cloud that then forms into the head of a bird and says, Meet me. <laughs> <laughs> Roadrunner killed hundreds that day. <laughs> <laughs> Those things! On top of the bed, is that it? Damn it! I don't know how powerful they are, or if they have enough power to blow up the entire island, but... If there are that many, they must be extremely powerful. Did he really drive this truck and carry over all these Roadrunners? Kazuichi, can't you disarm those Roadrunners? You're good at that kind of stuff, right? Hmm. How about microwaves? No, I like Roadrunners. Okay. I thought I could, but... It looks like the engine's also acting as the detonator. Damn it, so that's why the engine's still running. The bombs are set up so when the engine stops running, the insulator will blow off and trigger the explosion. You mean the Roadrunners. See how hard it is to just replace a word while you're reading? Yeah. yeah. I don't care how it's built. Can you disarm it or not? I mean, we got used to calling me darling pretty quickly. <laughs> it's impossible. I don't have enough time. The main detonator is put inside this bulky metal box and welded shut. There's no way I can disarm it if I can't get this thing open. And that's when Sonya walks forward with a crowbar. Oh, that's what she found in the military base? A crowbar? Or a plasma cutter. So it's going to take you a long time? That's not good. I mean, it's almost time for us to be exploded via Roadrunners! This is bad! Yeah. Noon. 
What if we use the tools at the military base? Hey, hey, hey! We don't have time for that! The truck's engine is the detonator, though. The truck's engine is the detonator, right? Then can't we stall for time by adding de gasoline? It's no use. The fuel cap has been welded on, too. I'm gonna do it! Then I'll just drive the truck into the sea! Bastard! Roadrunners can't swim! <laughs> I, you can't, you don't even have a driver's license. Fuyuhiko, now is not the time to care about that. Are you seriously gonna stop me? I thought your family was all about breaking the law. Breaking the law. Even that's impossible. There's a chain wrapped around the wheel. If we can't disarm the ball, uh, Roadrunner, stall for time, remove the truck. There's nothing we can do. Hey, hey. Hey, check it out. Huh? See? There's some kind of machine on top of that metal box Kazuichi mentioned. Is it a five-digit pin entry? Mmm, the machine on top of the box. Hmm. Oh, this. It looks like the like the stand that you put... The uh, Sheikah Slate of yeah, Breath the, of the Wild? Yeah, the Sheikah Slate. Just, we're gonna unlock Magnesis from this. <laughs> Alright, use Magnesis to move the Roadrunners into the sea. This looks like a card reader. A card reader? Card reader. Maybe we can disarm the Roadrunners if we swipe the key card. Are you serious? What? Hmm. Wait, that, that might be possible. Nagito wouldn't be able to disarm these bombs if he didn't leave some way of doing that, right? Huh? Maybe he never planned to disarm them from the start. Hmm. No, I don't think that's it. Nagito is probably trying to make us do something here. What do you mean? Something? So, knowing Nagito, there's definitely some kind of theme to this, I think. I wonder if he- A theme? I wonder if that's like a key card based on like the Hope Seek Academy one. So only a future foundation person would have it. Maybe. <laughs> the bass would probably do something messed up like that. Then we gotta find that! Leave it to me. We gotta find that! Nagito is trying to make us do something here. We should all kiss, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's not working, kiss harder! <laughs> I'll start with you, Fuyuhiko, and then I'll move to Chiaki, and then we'll skip soda! <laughs> <laughs> if that's true, what's he trying to make us do this time? Laptop? There's a laptop on the top of the stop's conveyor belt. This wasn't here the last time I came here, right? No, it was That's not. Hmm. It looks suspicious. It might be good if we examine it thoroughly. Yeah, you're right. Just as usual, deputy. As soon as I touched the laptop, some kind of program began running all of a sudden and played mysterious magical music. And almost immediately, a video started playing! It was Saw! Hello there. Why, hello everyone. Great work. So you really found the Roadrunners, huh? Believing in you was completely worth it. N nogito Perhaps. It looks like a video message from Nagito. I'm sure you were able to determine that before when you saw a video message from Nagito, but just in case that you didn't know that a movie when picture you is called a video, your name is Nagito. When did you have time to do all this? Does the Nagito. man sleep? No, he really doesn't. Is that why his eyes are always so crazy? <laughs> yes. He hasn't it's slept me, uh... all week. A video message? If he's got something to say, he can say it to our faces. Hey, bastards. Hold on. For now, let's watch this through to the end. Now then. Now that you guys have found the bombs, all you need to do is stop it. To tell you the truth, it's actually not that hard to do. You see, there's a card reader on top of the metal box. As long as you scan an e-handbook, it will disarm the bombs. Leave it to me! Alright, if that's the case, then just leave it to me! But wait, however... Well... It won't work with just any student handbook. If you want to disarm that roadrunner, 
You have to use the traitor student handbook. To be honest, I found out who the traitor was after secretly monitoring everyone's activity. But I was a little annoyed that they never came forward. So if things stay this way, it'll look like I lost, right? That's why I was thinking I should have another battle. So this is going to be your last chance, traitor. What are you going to do? Everyone's life depends on you. Whether or not you save them is up to you. Now then, I wonder how this is going to end. Will the traitor's identity finally be revealed? And with that, the video ended. And for some reason, like, there's a terabyte of just ducktails. Just every season, every translation. <laughs> the traitor student handbook. Don't tell me. So that's it. This was also a trap to weed out the traitor. Hey, hey. Is there seriously a traitor? If there is, they should come forward already. I mean, their life is in danger too, you know? Is it Sonya? Is Sonya the traitor? Is that why she's acting so weird? I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, she does have diplomatic immunity. <laughs> That's at, true. But at, for the most part, she would just get labeled Persona non grata and sent back to Nova Selic. If we were in international, if we weren't in international waters. I don't know the laws of espionage in international waters. Oh my gosh! Yes. I need to learn this now. <laughs> Stop whining and complaining. We should do it one at a time. If anyone has any book recommendations, let me know. <laughs> I think it would just be Crimes on the High Seas, which I think I know a bit about. Anyway. Look, you literally combine spycraft and stuff on boats, okay? That's like my trigger. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be stupid. What if someone besides the traitor uses their handbook? It's really stupid to be fighting over something like this. And so, with an annoyed expression on her face, Chiaki walked over to the bombs without saying a word. Took her handbook out of her pocket. Huh? And without hesitating, swiped the card reader. Hmm. Looks like it was wrong. See? Who's next? Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? If you make a mistake, the bombs might blow up. You think so? But they didn't. <laughs> That's just a fluke! Don't act so careless in a situation like It has to be Soda, right? I really, I really want it to be Soda and he just doesn't know and it would be so I, I want it to be Soda because he's the one fighting so hard to not do anything about the traitor and get everyone else anyway. to do it. Well, I guess Chiaki's not the traitor. I don't think the traitor would have swiped their handbook right away like she did. So what are we gonna do? Who wants to try next? Although it does pain. It does, okay, it gives my heart so much relief that it's not Chiaki. Yes. Like, like I said, don't act so careless. Swiping the wrong card might be safe. Well, I'm also wondering, obviously, like, my main goal is for the characters I like to make it to the end alive. I don't care if they're the traitor as long as they live. So if the traitor... My problem is if they're the traitor, it means they're a target. Their target, yes, but maybe that makes it too obvious. My main goal is to not blow up and then I act like I still know everybody because the Roadrunners didn't go off. But only once, you know? Huh? Hey, what happened? Well... Nothing, I might be overthinking it, but the engine somehow sounds... Just then, Kazuichi's face turned pale and he rushed over to the truck. And then as he tilted his head towards the engine, he suddenly shouted... <laughs> It's out of gas! What did you say? Huh? huh? What's gonna happen if there's no gas? I already told you, it's gonna blow! But isn't it too soon? I mean, there's still time until noon, and definitely Nagito knows about the amount of gas consumption in this particular truck needs to make it till noon. Are you kidding me? Did, did Nagito miscalculate? Never! My boy would never miscalculate anything! Did he fake it so that we would stop trying to swipe cards so that he would have to swipe his because he's the dirty traitor? Mis... miscalculate? Ah, you're gonna set us up. At least get your calculations right, D-word. Uh, at least Monokuma knows how to keep a schedule. Uh, hey, can we do anything about it? Is there something we can do? Yeah. Yeah, there's only one thing we can do. Start scanning like your life depended on it. Sing, sing, sing. Huh? What is it? 
what do we have to do? Damn it. Pray. Are you kidding me? What? Are you fucking serious? Then we should run. With those words, we started sprinting away. And that's when it happened. It's all right. It is not a bomb. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you. Huh? All of a sudden, the inside of the factory began overflowing with dazzling light. It's fireworks. Huh? What? What the what hell is the... this? Oh, yeah, that's you. Um, I mean, he did say they were fireworks. Looks like they're fireworks. Fireworks? Oh, he stood there dumbfounded. The fireworks slowly decreased their intensity. I mean, like, if you're still in a building with fireworks... Yeah, still, still like... an enclosed space that so they're all stacked on top of each other next to an open engine. Still not great, but Yeah, like... you're still uh, very much getting burned, and your eardrums possibly have ruptured. And probably some smoke inhalation at that point. Yeah, you're definitely not happy. And eventually... Oh, my. Um... This means it wasn't a roadrunner. No, it was just a sparrow all along. Huh? What? What the heck? I mean, Nagito said. Um. So it is just as I thought. As you thought. Hey, 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 everyone! Look over there. The laptop. Oh. Oh. Darling, are you ready to have your heart broken? If it was bombs... If it was the traitors that did fireworks instead? No. He doesn't know who the traitor is. It was a bluff. So he stated that only the traitors would work. And the only person who would go put their card on is the person who would know that they're the traitor. And that's how he was going to figure it out by bluffing. It was fireworks all along, because uh, maybe that I, way I I can see it being a bluff. I don't know if that means it's Chiaki though, but let's find out. I'm pretty sure it's Chiaki. The laptop. It looks like it's playing another video. Is it Nagito again? We immediately rushed over to the laptop. I still. Mm. <laughs> so, were you surprised? Seriously, think about it. Do you really think there are enough roadrunners to blow up an entire island? Even if there were, a guy like me would never be able to use them. Not only the one. Damn it, so it was all a bluff. Then, what was that bomb he de or roadrunner he detonated at the hotel? Um, Nagito went to the octagon inside the funhouse, right? Don't tell me- Is that where he got that roadrunner? But it definitely wasn't strong enough to road run up an island. <laughs> <laughs> to run up the island roads. <laughs> Nagito was lying about to that. To meet, meet the island. <laughs> Is he still watching us from somewhere? If he's not, then how did he time his message so perfectly? Hmm. No, it looks like the video was set to play after the explosion by a wireless signal from the detonator. But why did he have to use a video message? It's the one thing I don't get. Hey, hey. Let's think about that after we've watched the whole thing. You're right. Oh, no. Okay. Please, don't come, like... <sighs> We're all turned around. Honestly, I'm scared of him just, like, stabbing me in the back. <laughs> Coming behind someone and just popping their throat. So... Oh, I love how it says me, that I read it, but clearly it's Nagito's voice. So how did it go? Did the traitor come forward? If I had... Okay, I'm not doing my Hajime voice. If I had to guess... Well, I'd say they didn't, right? So then, which is it? It'd make me very happy if you guys could tell me. I'll be at the warehouse next door, waiting for your answer. From there, we'll compare our answers and I'll let you know who the traitor really is. See you later, alligator. This is all very complicated. Nagito, you, can you, can't you just say it's this person? Like, I understand the mystery and the intrigue's like, all I, fun, but like... <laughs> I get that he's trying to get us all to get it, but I also think it would be in his idea to just, okay, I'm gonna lock them all in the room, tell them who the traitor is, and watch them tear each other apart. In Lord of the Flies style. 
No. Okay, you fundamentally do not understand what Nagito's goals are. I recognize that, but I'm saying that would also be a very interesting game scene to deal with. The warehouse um, next door. That's where Nagito is? This time I'll make sure to beat the crap out of him. I'll deliver the final blow and smash his head with a wrench. Jeez. You bastards, what are you saying? Bastard. You guys can just beat the S-word out of him because I'm the one who's gonna F-word and kill him. You can curse. I'm very lightly mocking you. Oh. Mm. You guys, you totally flipped your lids. Now's not the time to be calm. We need to stop them. That is an order. You are right. Let us make haste. So, what did she get? I don't remember. Did she just realize there are no bombs? Yeah, Sonya said she didn't think there were bombs. That's what she was checking at the, uh... Okay. Huh? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be the crap out of him. Yeah, hype yourself up for it. He's a fan favorite, but... Hey, I totally know how you feel, but calm down. I totally know you just want to run up to him and just wrap your arms around his neck and just... Kiss him really hard. <laughs> Just make out with him. Just absolutely. <laughs> Shut up. Huh? Everyone's feet came to a grinding halt. Their red, angry faces instantly transformed into a look of caution. Ak Akane, what is it? <laughs> Can you hear something? It's coming from the other side of this door. The other side of this door? As I listened carefully, I could make out the soft sound coming from inside the warehouse. Music? Shh, what's he planning? Is this another one of Nagito's traps? Huh? Maybe the moment we open the door, a real road runner is gonna go meet me! Now then. Alright, let's open it and find out. I like the cut of her gym. Please do not, Akane, it is dangerous. Yeah. It's fine, I'll open it slowly. That definitely doesn't set off road runners. No, that's not the problem. Leave it to me. Seriously, it'll be fine. With those words, Akane brushed off everyone's warnings and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. I'm waiting for Nagito to just meet meet pop up behind someone and <laughs> shoot him now. Huh? Uh, uh, it's not opening. Is there something blocking the door? I can barely open it. Kick it. Hey, hey. I knew it's a trap. Seriously, just stop it, okay? You... Didn't I tell you it'll be fine? I just gotta use a little more force. What? What happened to opening it slowly? Akane ignored their protests, and with a mighty kick, the door flew open. Yeah. Bam! Ah! It's gonna meet me! Instinctively, we tensed our bodies and braced ourselves. But... Huh? Huh? What's this? What happened? Yo. Look inside. It sure is dark. <laughs> I like all our character arc. <laughs> Wait, where's Sonia? Why are you being so suspicious, Sonia? It looks like there aren't any lights on. Is Nagito really in here? The inside of the warehouse felt even darker because our eyes were still used to the bright sunlight outside. Within that darkness, a loud hymnal blared throughout the warehouse at full bat volume. Hey. Do you guys hear something? Yeah, it's really damn loud. Does Nagito like listening to this depressing crap? No, I'm not talking about the music. And as if on cue, it suddenly started. Huh? It's on fire! A fearsome place suddenly began dancing inside the dark warehouse, like fire being spread before oh, us. No. What? What's going on? For now. We must extinguish these flames. Let us hurry and put them out. Sonia, why are you being why are you so suspicious? Why are you on top of things? Sonia, I don't like this. Where is she? Hey, hey. Yeah, fire of that size, you wanna just run and call fire department. Yeah, I'm sure there's a monocum of fire department somewhere. I'm sure. But how are we supposed to put this fire out? There should be fire extinguishing supplies inside the factory break room. Perhaps we should use those. Damn it. Why does she know so much? That's standard. I mean, there should be fire extinguishing supplies in most rooms. Darling, I know you don't <laughs> want to admit it. I literally had to talk to a fire inspector the other day. I know you don't want to acknowledge it, but I think one of our girls is the traitor. 
while we're talking about that, let's talk about how to properly evacuate from building fire. Got it. Let, let's, <laughs> let's head to the break room. After listening to Sonia, we ran into the factory. We haven't been in the break room before, have we? Nope. And Sonia definitely hasn't. The break room is here, right? Where are the fire extinguishing supplies? Uh... Up top of the cabinets are those books. Possibly under the sink. Oh, there we go. Fire extinguisher here. Fire grenade. Oh, that's not bad. A huge supply of lined up plastic bottles. It looks like there's some kind of liquid inside them. You found it. Those are fire grenades. Fire grenades? They're basic fire extinguishing goods. When you throw them at a fire, the container breaks and the chemical inside puts out the fire. You have to know these things as a princess. But this is strange. The last time I peeked inside this place, I recall seeing other fire extinguishing supplies, too. Hey. This should be plenty. Let's hurry up and go back to the warehouse. Are there more fires? We grabbed all the fire grenades and rushed back to the warehouse. Sonia, when did you come in? Sonia? I mean, they all had a right to explore. She might have been, they might have been when she was exploring day one. Make sure you don't get too close to the fire. It's dangerous. Because it's fire. <laughs> Take care not to inhale the smoke as well. We should throw the grenades from the door at the same time. Optimally, to prevent smoke inhalation, you want to stay low to the ground. Try to cover your mouth like a damp cloth or something that will prevent that getting into your nose or mouth. Great info. Continue, Fuyuhiko, please. Looks like the curtain in the back is burning up. I just have to aim for that, right? Yeah, aim at the base of the fire and then sweep the whatever fire extinguisher you need to use in the... Th <laughs> I need a new job. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. I need a new job that doesn't ruin my fun life like this. Look at all these cute people throwing fire grenades. We aim for the curtain at the back and threw all the fire grenades one after the other. <laughs> They're reverse Molotovs. But... <laughs> or does it feel like the fire's not going out at all? The curtain absorbed the impact of the thrown grenades, which fell on the floor and shattered. They were completely ineffective at extinguishing the burning curtain. Does it not seem like the fire is intensified? Because they replaced what was liquid was inside with a different liquid, probably. So they're actual bottle tops, not reverse. It continues to rise. It will inflame the ceiling. Why do you care? This is bad. We've already used up all the fire grenades. But what are we gonna do? All we can do now is pray for rain. You got? Why do you care? I mean, it'll spread. But why do they care? To other buildings. They're surrounded by an ocean. It's not like they're going to burn. It could. Don't could catch stupid. the bridge. There's no way it'll conveniently start raining if we pray for it. Besides, why don't they just destroy the bridge with one of the tanks? Then it's contained on this island. Oh no, the Terminators got burnt to dust. I do appreciate that line of thought, because I appreciate the tank usage. It's raining? Also, I still don't want it blowing up the the helicopters or the missiles. That's not it. It looks like the sprinklers activated. Oh, the sprinklers. They must have detected the smoke and turned on. They should have detected it way sooner. Yeah, way before this. Water continued to vigorously pour out of the sprinklers. I feel sad because I feel like we're going to find Nagito's corpse in here. I'm going to be really sad. I'm going to I cry. really doubt it. And after a while, the fire in the warehouse was completely extinguished. I don't think we can get rid of him that easily. Looks like the fire is out. Um, that is a relief. The hell? Ah! Man, my merch is drenched. It got splattered with water and now it's soaked. It's so wet. Hey, hey. But what did Sonya want in here? Hey, is it okay to look inside now? Just a minute. Ah, uh, time out, time out. You can't. Nah, -uh, no way. Well, why can't we go inside? Hey, um... Smoke and hazardous gas are still spread throughout the warehouse. Let's got to ventilate for a while. Also, oh, we yeah. should probably check for type of structural damage caused by the expansion of heat. Well, I guess you're right. It'd be a problem if we breathe in any lingering smoke. So... So for the sake of your health, please wait for just a little while. 
while you're waiting, why don't you check out the Monokuma Theater I freshly prepared? <gasps> A Monokuma Theater? Monokuma Theater! You're so stupid! Everything is a lie. Monokuma doesn't exist. Monokuma Theater doesn't exist. This is not a pipe. Everything is fiction. There's no meaning whatsoever. We're all just characters played in a game by two, uh... Ha Average people? Sure. <laughs> There's no relationship whatsoever. Everything was made. Monokuma can't be found anywhere. What are you doing here anyway? Beautiful. I love it. The modern... The modern Camus. Yes, Truly. Me. Yep, now that the Monokuma Theater is over, I'm sure it's finished ventilating by now. Phew. Also, I'm finally starting to feel better. Just because my important merch was ruined doesn't mean I should be depressed about it forever. Whenever I feel depressed, I always ask myself this question. But hold on. Why are your eyes on the front? I got it! Because we're predators! <laughs> so we can move forward. Don't be sad about what's already happened, and be positive. Um, we, we get it already. Jeez. Enough with your bullshit. I'll leave the rest to you! Ah, I turned the light for you guys too. Might hurt yourself if it's dark. Here! Now, now, go ahead. Right ahead. Ahead! Keep moving forward. Is Nagito inside? Hmm. He said he was in his video message, but he probably escaped by now. <laughs> there was so much fire and smoke, and I thought I'd finally get to beat the crap out of him this time. Hey, hey. Well, why don't we go inside and see how it's doing? You... Hajime, what happened? Well, nothing happened, but... I don't know why. My heart is racing. It won't settle down. I'm scared. My love, where is he? As if an intense malice is about to stab me. Stab me through my whole body. Someone's about to get brutist. And I can't even budge. It feels like everything was too late. Why do I feel this anxious? Because we're about to see a dead body and I'm gonna cry. Anyway, let's go inside. I've let's got... Let's go inside and cry. A charred odor permeated through the warehouse and the air was so heavy that it was hard to breathe. The moment I set foot inside the warehouse, a mixture of bewilderment, anxiety, and fear overtook me at once. Um, something smells. Hey, hey, it's not me. I am sorry. Uh, I am terribly sorry. You serious? Miss Sonia, say it ain't so. No, not that. It's like a smell I've never smelled before. Like... Well, it makes sense that there are strange smells and a bunch of different things were burned. Hey, hey. Hey, everyone. Did you know about that curtain? You mean the curtain that was on fire, right? What do you mean, no? I didn't notice until the curtain was burning, but there's a space on the other side of it, too. Uh, I don't want to see it. I'm sad. When I looked where Chiaki was pointing, there was still space beyond the burnt, tattered curtain. We gotta go. I don't want to. I walked towards the burnt, tattered curtain with slow, methodical steps. I'd never experienced such an oppressive atmosphere before, and I couldn't help holding my breath. Then, on the other side of the curtain, I saw the true source of the intense malice that I had been feeling. That's a body. Nagito! Oh. Look what they did to my boy! <laughs> oh. My poor, my poor boy Nagito! They massacred my boy! They tortured him. They massacred my boy! Those stab wounds aren't for effect, those are just for pain. <laughs> it's like it's like he was in a chair. They tied him down and did that, and then they no. untied his wrist, did that. And... Nagito, we didn't know your secrets. But apparently, the traitor didn't want them getting out. I 
I had no idea what I was looking at. By the time I realized I was looking at the remains of Nagito Komeda, the ultimate lucky student, time had already stopped. Stabbed on the shoulder, too. Huh. Eventually, the shock finally registered with me. A numb feeling spread from the center of my brain almost instantly. Nagito is dead! No! But he was the most fun part of the game! This has to be the final death, then. I mean, it is the final death. We knew that already, but there was only gonna be one more. Even when I saw this before me, I wasn't able to comprehend that reality yet. Where's the announcement? Whoa. Uh, you're right. Well, it's probably gonna happen in like two lines. What? What's going on here? Are you serious? Is he really dead? He's not pretending to be dead, is he? I mean, it's Nagito, you know? That's right, it's Nagito. He always messed with us. He always tried to confuse us, that's why... I can't believe it. Nagito ended up in such a cruel state. Nagito is dead. Deep down, I believed that when the feel The feelings that I hid deep inside, that when the killings finally ended, I'd never see the sky again. I never expected I'd be looking at Nagito's body like this. Nagito probably thought the same thing. I couldn't help seeing it in his dead, frightened face. But on this island, unbelievably abnormal occurrences happened all the time. Even Nagito couldn't escape that truth. But even something as small as that. There we go. A body has been discovered! No! no. The class trial will begin! No! I'm really sad. I am upset Don't that a very me. interesting character is no longer with us. I am glad that we now know forevermore that, not, uh, that Gale's thirst will not be sated. <laughs> So and that Gale can come to some kind of, some kind of um, closure, and then move on. Wait, why? Go watch Cruella or something. <laughs> why, my boy? The body discovery announcement. Then it's for real. Hey, then Nagito is really dead. Not just that he's dead. If the body discovery announcement was made, does that mean Nagito was killed? Killed? No, that looks like an accident. <laughs> yeah. Plus, it's one of us. So that means, right? One of us killed Nagito? I'm gonna find them. I'm gonna crack their skull on the pavement. That honestly could have been the work of two or three people. One of us killed him so brutally. Then it's going to start again. Huh? The class trial is going to start soon, right? Then. Of course! Yep, we gotta do it! We gotta find out who Nagito's killer is! Hey! Hey! No matter who you guys sacrifice, you're determined to survive and leave this island, right? Ching. Then the time for action is. now! I'll crush your bare spine in half. And you'll get. Oh. So allow me to give you the familiar Monokuma fi. What? Don't get in my way like that! I was about to whip out the Monokuma file in such a cool way! You stupid brother! Shut up! I can't stand this anymore! Got it? How much longer are you to keep putting them through this? No more! I won't let you! I'll make sure I'll pulverize your evil intentions! Hey, hey! Say something! What's this? Oh, now I remember who you are! You're Monomi! Hey! You just now noticed? Lie. Anyway, Monami, if you're going to talk about my intentions, 
Why don't you talk about yours first? What are your intentions anyway? Why are you keeping everyone cooped up on this island? I'm sure everyone here wants to know too, you know? What? No fair, you're shutting up too! Wait, enough already! We already have enough to deal with concerning Nagito! Please do not say anything else that will confuse us! Hey. Anyway, let's begin. Hmm? Huh, Bubu? This is just. I mean, in the end, we still have to do it, right? As long as the killing happens, we can't do anything about it, right? We have no choice but to do it, right? Besides, it's our fault that we couldn't even prevent it. Uh, I know. That's the only way we can survive, right? Nice! Looks like you kids are on your way. On, are way more well-behaved than Monami. Don't fuck with me! We're tired of this too, you know. That's why I'll definitely make sure to finish this for good this time. Ah, so does that mean you guys are getting bored of this school trip? Actually... Don't worry, the end is near. Huh? The end? What's the matter? Don't make a face like a pig in spots become bacon. You've already noticed it, right? <laughs> the meaning behind that Monokuma timer? Um, I guess there's only two days left, huh? Well, when that timer reaches zero, two days from now, what will happen to us? Hmm? hmm? The killing school trip will be over. Hey, hey. This will finally be over. Are you serious? Does that mean we can go home? What are you gonna do? Don't count your bears before they've hatched. There's still something you gotta do before that, right? So... So, once again... It's the file! Phew. You guys need to find out who Nagito's killer is and survive the class trial. If this ends here, there won't be an afterword after all at all. Do your best. Wait! Hold on! I won't forgive you! I won't let you escape this time! Wait right there! Hmm. What do you guys think? The school trip is nearly at an end. It's safe to think that we can go home, right? But still. Kazuichi. I understand how you feel, but we need to focus on Nagito's case first. Damn it! Even if we can go home, it'll be the end for us if we screw up here. Alright! Then let's hurry up and solve Nagito's case so we can all go back home. However... It is nice to think everyone can go home, but that is impossible, right? I mean, someone in this room killed Nagito. There is a killer among us. Among us? Among us. Among us? The weight of those words began to sink into me. Among us? That was the true of the previous cases. But was it really true this time? No matter how much I tried, I couldn't believe it. Because the victim was Nagito? Because his death was so abnormally cruel. No, it wasn't just that. There was something more to it than that. Whatever it was, it was stuck inside me. Like because that thing was, was stuck inside him? Yeah, <laughs> because it was actually me all along. And we'll find out more next time on Gail and Darling Cry Over Nagito's Funeral because that's really what we should be doing the entire episode. Hold up. Hold up. That plush bear is bleeding. Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> we'll find out next time! What did Monokuma put in the plushies? Bye bye Hi there, it's the end of the video, my friend. Hit the bell if it was okay, I'm sure I'll make good content someday. I'll play some games or do some drawing Pokemon and fights with darling video essays and reviews. I couldn't do it without you, so thanks. Like and subscribe.